Minutes before sunset near the West Texas mountains, minutes before the show begins. I don't even know which way to look. This is going to be on the horizon or it's going to be high up. For more than a century, it's been a nightly ritual on the side of the highway just east of Marfa. What do you see, Joe? A red, a red light. Oh, they're, look, they're bright. They're bright. Yeah. Intermittent beacons on the horizon, known simply as the Marfa lights. Natives and tourists, cowboys and astronomers come here with explanations intact, only to leave with their minds as blank as the nighttime sky. I don't have the vaguest idea. I think they spent a lot of money trying to prove it here a few years ago and they never came up with an answer. The Japanese are the latest to come here to film the ghost lights and study them in every imaginable way. Over the years, scientists have ruled out phosphorus minerals, methane, and swamp gas, nor is there proof of static electricity as the cause. Scientists also ruled out car headlights, even though a highway borders Mitchell Flats where the lights usually appear. How far does the highway turn and go that direction? That has to be a car. In fact, the most common explanation of Marfa's mystery lights are car lights, primarily here along Highway 67 running south to Presidio. There are so many dips and curves in this road, it explains why lights suddenly appear and disappear into thin air or go off in one direction or the other. In fact, many first-timers commonly mistake headlights for the mystery lights, but veteran watchers say they can distinguish the difference. The lights have a definite pattern. It's the elevation of the lights, this is right down on the ground. The Marfa lights are up a little higher on the hillside, and they go across the sky. They're not sitting there in that, that one area. Another flaw in the headlight theory, the sightings date back to the 1800s. They've been documented ever since. The first recording was on a cattle drive in 1883. In the 1940s, World War II training pilots chased the lights and reported flying right through them. In the 1960s, an imminent head-on collision, only to have the other car suddenly disappear just before impact. Indian folklore has it that an Apache chief separated from his tribe still roams the hills, trying to signal his people. Some people who've camped in this fenced-off ranch land have seen what they think is evidence in the soil, possibly minerals. You would see uh, some kind of luminescent uh, stuff on the ground. It's just like the uh, stuff on a watch dial. It is a mystery the town prefers remains unsolved, sustaining a belief that the lights of Marfa aren't the only Marfa lights. Mike Rosen, Fox 7 News, near Marfa, Texas.